Behind me is the proposed Cade 2 landfill site. Rolling hills where the aquifer comes up close to the surface. It's about 30 feet to the surface behind where I'm standing. I want you to think of something. Would you take your garbage and put it in a garbage bag and then put another garbage bag and another garbage bag, three garbage bags, triple line garbage, fill up your bathtub with Kentwood water, throw that garbage bag in the bathtub, let it sit there for a week and then drink the water? If you wouldn't, I would like you to come to the hearing on the water discharge permit for Cade 2. Tell the DEQ and waste management why this is not the right place for a landfill and the little bayou down the road, Cypress Bayou, is not the right place to discharge the leachate, the water that's going to be coming out of the landfill. Let the DEQ know how you feel about it. It's on June the 30th at 7 o'clock, St. Martinville High School Gym. Come and speak your mind. It's going to be your last chance. Thank you. Picture this site with its tall trees and high meadow grass, daffodils in the spring, its rolling hills coming down to a little coulee in the back, as a major landfill site. This is the site of the proposed Cade 2 landfill in St. Martin Parish. There's going to be a water discharge permit hearing for this site on the 30th of June, and this will be the public's last chance to express to the DEQ how they feel about the Cade landfill and garbage from all over the country coming into our backyard, leaking into our water, being dumped into our lakes and bayous, and polluting what we have for the future. This will be the entrance to the proposed K2 landfill. You can see that it's got good highway access. This is Highway 182 right out here and just on the other side of the road are, are the railroad tracks that run from Los Angeles to Florida. We would be getting garbage from all over the country shipped into this landfill. It can take 1,200 tons of garbage a week, which is approximately three times the amount of garbage that's produced in the Tri-Parish area today. This was never designed to be a local landfill designed to serve the needs of the state, possibly the nation, and now we know because our friends at Chem Waste sued the state of Louisiana, they can bring in hazardous waste from Mexico and put that in Louisiana too, so I don't doubt that residential garbage will be coming in from anywhere they can get their hands on it and bring it in to Cade, Louisiana. Next week on the 30th, you'll have an opportunity to tell the DEQ just how you feel about that. And I think it's very important that local people come and express themselves because the only other opportunity we're going to have after that is in the law courts. If Cade 2 receives a water discharge permit from the DEQ, they will be able to begin construction. Once they have a shovel in the ground, it's going to be a lot harder to slow down the process and when we do finally get that permit overturned in court, it may wind up costing some money because you can bet your bottom dollar they're going to sue for damages. So we need to stop this landfill now before construction begins. And the way to stop it is to come to the permit hearing and express how you feel about that. I get very upset when people feel so sorry for me because they're going to build a landfill right by my house and these people don't realize that it's not only my fight and that I'm going to have the first effects but eventually everybody's going to be touched by it and I think that's our responsibility for all of us not just me or my neighbors. 
The K2 landfill already has its solid waste permit, which is about the design of the landfill and the site of the landfill. But a landfill also needs to discharge water. Why? When you think about it, if you leave your garbage in a garbage bag for a couple of days and it gets hot, it starts oozing liquid. That's basically what happens in a landfill. This landfill is lined with a big rubber plastic liner, kind of like a garbage bag. And as the garbage sits in there and, and uh, bulldozers run over it and compress it, it's going to start oozing. Also, when it rains, liquid gets in there. That gets very heavy, and the plastic that is underneath the garbage potentially can crack from that weight. So, what part of the design is to pump out this liquid, which is called leachate, and then waste management has to get rid of it. Well, this liquid will go through a series of treatments. It'll sit in a treatment pond and a, and a settlement pond for a while. And then, in order to get rid of it, they're going to have to pump the liquid into this little bayou here, Cypress Bayou. If you keep going, following this bayou as it goes through the swamp, the next water body you're going to encounter is the Vermilion River. So eventually, the discharge from the landfill will get into the Vermilion River, which we've had a long, tough battle to clean up all these years, and we're now getting there. And we're now giving ourselves the potential for polluting again. At this hearing, we need you to come and tell why this is a really bad idea to pump all this liquid into this little bayou. It destroys wildlife habitat. It's, an, it's not good for the trees. It's not good for the wildlife itself. This is the kind of area that the black bear will come back into, a big swamp area potential nesting ground for bald eagles. It's got a lot of value for wildlife. It's also got a lot of value for human beings because of its ability for drainage. What you can do, you can come to the hearing and speak your mind. But this is a very political fight. And a lot of what you can do comes from contacting the drainage board, the school board, your local police juror, the sheriff, your local representative or legislator, your congressman, and the governor. They need to hear that a lot of people are upset about it because it's politics as usual down here and what turns politics are votes. They have to hear from a lot of voters that these voters are unhappy and the representatives of the voters are unhappy. So if you can't make the hearing, at least make the phone call. But please come to the hearing and speak your mind and let the DEQ hear why it's a terrible idea to have this landfill in this site. Because who would want the smell from uh, over here coming, going in the house? And who would want uh, bad water? One of the worrisome things about the discharge from the landfill is kind of the old adage, garbage in, garbage out. Whatever goes into the landfill will come out in the form of leachate. And when you put things in a, a black plastic bag and put them in your garbage can, that's about the best place to hide your deepest, darkest secrets and mysteries. We don't know what's going to go into that landfill. In Louisiana, Supposedly, you can't put uh, motor, use motor oil, uh, lead acid batteries, white goods, the kind of things like the Freon that would be in a refrigerator. But in the deep, dark night, who knows what goes into that kind of a, a dumpster or a garbage bag and into the landfill. If we're getting garbage in from other states with less stringent restrictions, we don't know what we'll be getting in. That's all going to be mixed up, run over with a bulldozer, squashed, and whatever comes out of that liquid goes into those treatment ponds. There's some things you can treat for and some things that are very difficult to remove, like heavy metals. Once those heavy metals get into our water supply, we've had it. PCBs, we've had it. So that's why it's a very serious matter about discharging water into a bayou that is basically a recharge into our aquifer. 
There are people here whose water wells are 50, 60 feet deep. They're going to be pumping. When you pump back, a discharge that can go into the bayou can be pulled back underground and up into those water wells. There's a lot of interconnection between the, this surface water and the water from the aquifer. And that's why the discharge is equally as distressful, scary to these people and to everybody who drinks water from the aquifer as the landfill itself. I'm also very worried because uh, when waste management came for the first time and started digging for sample, they were digging very close to my property line. And when we measured the distance between my uh, water well and the first little hole they dug, that was less than 200 feet. And uh, that seems awfully close to me. So I know that the first time they're going to find pollution inside their sample hole, that's going to be in my water too.